Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at the studio of Fatih Amir on TV and today we have a very interesting person in the studio. This is Mr. Jean-Marie hans -Lena from Switzerland. He is a phys physicist from Switzerland and worked five years together with ingenious Oliver Crane and with Christian Mostein. Together they researched the magnetism of permanent magnets and wrote later a book about it under the title Central Oscillator and Space Quantum Medium. Shamari Lena founded in 1993 the Institute for Space Quantum Physics Research IRQP, IRQF in Switzerland. The space quantum physics and the discovery of the cosmic mechanical supernova energy or dark energy and the dark matter are basic modules for a totally new energy technology to produce supernova energy. The proof of the existence of the new detected supernova energy, the biggest cosmic primary energy source, is produced by heavy earthquakes from 6.0 magnitude onwards and tsunamis. Today he will talk to Pate Amel on TV about the findings and researching. Like I said, the subject will be magnetism, the discovery of the supernova energy, a new theory about gravity and the constellation of planets and its influence on the Earth. Mr. Lena, welcome to the studio. I'm very happy that you are here and I hope you can give us inside knowledge about what's really going on now, right now. Tell us please first about the new findings of the magnetism. Uh, during our work at the Institute of Space Quantum Physics, uh, we learned that the old picture from old, uh, the old picture from magnetism is no more valid because we discovered that uh, the magnetic effects are based on a very uh, on a high speed flux. We make many um, tests with permanent magnets and we found out that on the permanent magnet we have a high speed flux uh, around the, the axis and if we look to the south pole we have a high speed flux in the clockwise sense. Mm -hmm. And if you look to the North Pole, we have a we have a, a high speed flux in the clockwise sense, anticlockwise. Yes, anticlockwise. Anticlockwise, okay. yes. And uh, this is a very dramatic um, discovery because this implements that uh, we have to introduce in the magnetism theory the the physics law of uh, Bernoulli, the flux law of Bernoulli, and. Uh, Today the meaning is that two permanent magnets with north and south pole attract each other. But this is wrong. With this new uh, flux theory from Bernoulli, we know that when we have two magnets, one with the south pole, with the uh, clockwise, uh, mm -hmm. clockwise sense and uh, the north pole with the anti-clockwise sense, between the two magnets we have an under pressure zone. So it seems that the two magnets are pressed together and not attract each and other. Pressed together from the outside. From the outside, yes. Uh -huh. Because the pressure is uh, bigger outside of the magnets than between the magnets. And in your book actually you made a picture like this. We show it in a little bit, okay. So this is absolutely very new already. So now Tell us about the new discovered supernova energy because I think this is related to the pressure. Yes, in uh, 1998 I find a, a very important article in, in the American scientific um, uh, magazine uh, Nature and it was an article written by Eddie Baron, a cosmologue and he, speak about, he spoke about one supernova explosion approximately per second in the observable universe. One second, every one second is a supernova explosion in the universe? Yes, this means 
approximately every second a sun or a star is exploding and uh, when I read this article I was hit uh, by, the, by the idea to calculate um, how many seconds are in one day within 24 hours the number is 86,400 seconds 84,600 Six. no, 86,400 seconds which means then that we have uh, approximately 86,400 supernova explosions in the observable universe and what does that mean and to the earth, to this the pressure? and now this um, this means that we have uh, discovered a uh, tremendous energy source cosmic energy source which not only emits uh, the, um, the light flash because um, the cosmologue only see the, um, the light flash um, after a supernova explosion yeah but how but many light years passed? yes many many light years yes, uh, yes. away and long long time uh, long uh, many many years uh, later and uh, but at the same time uh, when we have a supernova explosion we have on also shock or pressure waves in all direction in the in the universe so this means that these are faster than the light. and uh, and these shock waves they are they travel uh, with with uh, with a speed which is much higher uh, than the speed of light and um, we speak about um, the speed of instant instant um, okay you, 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 you speak about the instant uh, uh, feeling or instant in, instant explosion you yeah, the, 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 the forces the forces are transmitted in the whole universe instantly okay so uh, instantly and it reaches also the earth and reaches Everything also around. to the earth and of course all the other planets the suns and galaxies okay and uh, what is important to know is um, uh, many people believe before that uh, the supernova explosion only happen uh, every 100 or 200 or 300 years no and uh, since this publication from Eddie Barrow in Nature we know that there are much more there's a huge number of supernova explosions and um, if you know we have 86,400 approximately every day um, in one year this makes about 31.5 million supernova explosions per year and since you found that out this pressure actually yeah. this the shock waves and the pressure onto the earth yeah. and onto everything in the universe is called Lenaronen pressure Lenaronen pressure after your name okay. yes yes so this is absolutely interesting and uh, what is this pressure doing on earth now uh, we we can um, we can describe that this pressure not only works on the earth first everybody knows today that um, the scientists speak about uh, accelerated expansion of the universe so on the one side uh, all these supernova explosions um, uh, make the universe expanding at more and more high speed or mid accelerated speed and on the other side all the pressure waves which uh, go in direction of galaxies of suns in direction of the planets give the pressure waves on on these uh, on these planets and uh, and um, and it has something to do with the gravity on earth I believe yes so tell us about the gravity now yes what people believed before and what you guys discovered yeah, yeah. Um, the laws of gravity are based on the findings of uh, Newton and Einstein and they believed that um, gravity is an attracting force so they say we are attracted by the earth by the mass of the earth to stay in the earth and everything yeah. is falling down really. everything is falling okay. down mm -hmm. and uh, because they didn't know about the, um, um, the number of supernovas they didn't know about this new okay. mechanical energy in the cosmos right. they believed that they are attracted by the earth and uh, this theory has to be uh, revised this theory has to be um, uh, changed because we are not attracted by the earth we are pressed against the earth through the shock or pressure waves the coming from the the supernova from all directions of the cosmos.